Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So I've got quite a few things to, to share this week. First of all, I'm going to share what I purchased on the Craft Stash website. So this was some, well, yeah, it's mainly sale items. And I also picked up the Mini Gemini, yay! I've got another little, well not another, my other one broke. My baby blue, so the tattered lace one was the one I'd had for years and it was lovely and I just really liked that one and then it just broke on me. I did, I think I forced it a bit too much. So I didn't bother getting one then for a while and um, I was looking at the Tim Holtz one and I then started looking at this one and my friends got this one and I was looking at the reviews and yeah I really like it so you get and the other thing I like about it is that you get the plates are joined now they are obviously more flimsy than the stronger plates like they're not the strength of like your Sizzix plate or things like that but I've die cut a few things and it's great does what I want it to do and I, the main thing is I want it on my desk so f up until from that one breaking to now I have been I tried peeling that off <laughs> I have been um, just using my Sizzix or my Gemini I like the Gemini a lot for intricate dyes and all that kind of stuff but it's not the one I go to all the time I'm still picking up my big shot and a little manual thing and that's the thing I love manual machines I do I don't mind the electronic and like I said the Gemini is fantastic it really is and it is great for that detail but when I'm just die cutting a quick like circle and stuff like that this one and my Sizzix are the ones that I still go to so yeah I picked that up also on Craft Sash they have uh, free delivery worldwide delivery all this weekend so till end of day Sunday I guess it's GMT time so you'll have to check all the you know all the like the the small print but it is free delivery worldwide so I did get some discount on this as well because we're on the design team so it's one of the perks of being on the design team um, but it's still um, good value for money this one and it's a real weighty piece as well so I was surprised for some reason I thought it was going to be quite light but it's not so I picked up that I <laughs> picked up some trees because I love using these I go through them every year I make lots of little you know trinkety things and gift things and they go on all sorts so I picked these ones up I think these were like two pounds something so I've got two bags there I hadn't used the white ones before I've got these already I've got a few left over but I just whenever I see them I buy them and then these are really good so all of these ones here so the apple blossom I've taken all the packaging off just because yeah just glare and noise and stuff on videos so these here I've been looking at them for months they've always been there it's always been something I've gone to and then something else has caught my eye I just love the lovely big brush stroke there you know that font but I was unsure if they were going to be really big or not and then I measured you know looked online and looked at the size it said the stamp was and stuff and I thought I think they're going to be pretty big well they are that birthday is absolutely beautiful it'd be wonderful on a gift tag but also just I mean I've got some nice card ideas that I'm going to do with that because you see me use my woodware ones a lot and I love those but this is five and a half inches by two that's a great size for a stamp especially for a sentiment and then you've got the happy there as well but what I like is I'll probably I've got smaller happies that I will stamp and have kind of there and then the big birthday I think that looked nice plus you get the candle there as well so that was it was either they were two pound or 198 so they're really good value for money and then I thought well I've got to get the party because that's again just fantastic make great um, invitations as well and then you get the little champagne there with the cork popping, a balloon and like streamers. So I thought that was really nice. That one's called Party Stamp Set. That's Birthday Stamp Set. And then I saw this one and I always love sentiments. I've got loads and I never get rid of my sentiments. But what I do find is I get bored of them. So I like something new that I can then start to use. And then I start to enjoy the older ones again. And then they come back around. So never get rid of your sentiment stamps because you'll always you know find that right one for that you know that perfect space or something on a card or so yeah I never get rid of them but what I did like about this is one is the font I love the brush brush stroke but also I like the happy mother's day that it's all side by side and it's nice and longer a lot of the mother's day ones I've got a more square and it says happy and then mother's is underneath and then day is underneath this I really like so I liked that one I like the happy birthday that's the same there as well I thought that was really nice and then the happy easter Again, the mix of the fonts just is something that kind of I really enjoy. Well, I enjoy it. Yeah, I do. I like them. Celebrate new beginnings. Thanks a bunch. Get well soon. Hello, spring. I'm um, thinking of you. And then you've got this like little kind of, um, yeah, like flowers. <laughs> I can get my words out. So then I picked up these. Now, I have all of the Daisy May. It's one of my favourite collections. But when I received the Daisy May, the Christmas collection, when you're on the design team, you sometimes get things um, earlier than 
they are you know on the website and stuff so sometimes maybe not everything's come back from the factories yet or you know little things are missing and stuff like that so when I received all the stamps this was the only one I didn't receive a die for so I had to fussy cut which I didn't mind doing because I like to fussy cut anyway so when I saw that the stamps had come up in the sale I've picked those up so they are Christmas I won't use these now probably until obviously Christmas again but I just thought because I've got them and they're to me they're the stamps I will never get rid of because the images are just wonderful um there was a really nice one I've been looking at it for a while and it's the badger I think it's the badger with the umbrella and it sold out I was like oh I really wanted that one but never mind then I also picked up this one. This is another one that I was looking at, but because I'd already had stamps this year that were new that I wanted to use, I thought I'm going to get this one. This went into the sale. Again, I think it was £2 something. I've thrown my invoice while well, I was shredded, but um, it's a bargain and it's such a nice set. It's a really nice stamp set size as well. So this one is what are we looking at eight and a half by six yeah but I really liked the car I think that's great with the presents and the tree and then you've got the Christmas jumper there and then just really nice sentiments again so it'd be nice come Christmas because this will feel you know like new to me and uh yeah just really liked it little Robin gingerbread man so that was from Craft Stash so like I said have a little look I know quite a few of you you message me and you send me pictures of things that you've purchased um but they always have good deals and also if you are new to Craft Stash because they offer obviously worldwide shipping if it's your first time purchasing with them you get 20% off anyway plus then there's the free shipping so now's a really good time to shop so yeah all of those there as always I will share the links before because I know um, a lot of you do like to go and check out the bargains then I've just got a few like things I was looking I kind of sometimes <laughs> maybe I'm not the only one but I do like an inventory so I will <laughs> you're gonna laugh I kind of it's not really a clipboard well, I guess it, it kind of is but I will like walk through all my stuff and look at what I'm low on, look at what I don't have anything left of and I'll write it all on a list so that when there is like, you know, um, offers on or it's sale time and stuff, I can go through. Some of it's wish list stuff, so some of it's not, you know, stuff I would buy all the time, but things like this, you know. So this is my um, double-sided adhesive tape sheets. I love these. This is the one I always buy usually is the stick to anything. You get uh, five, yeah, five sheets, A4. You can cut them down and stuff, but they basically mean any intricate dies that you've got, if you stick this onto the back of the cardstock first, then put the die on top, run it through your die machine, and then when you take it off on the back of the die, it will have this, and you peel the backing off and it's a big sticker. And it makes it so much easier to use on your cards, to stick on acetate, and all that kind of great stuff. So I think a couple of tutorials I've recently shared, I've said in there where you see me put red tape on the back, this stuff is brilliant. And it's great for all kinds of things as well. It's just basically your double-sided sticky tape, so this, but on a big sheet. So, pick that one up again this one was about 3.99 it's usually around that price i've not really seen it too much cheaper than that then i found a few bits in the charity shop so i always get excited well i don't know whether it's the same person always kind of donating their product and uh, maybe you even watch my channel is this your stuff <laughs> because it's really good so this was actually in with this so these were one pound fifty each and it's the tim holtz dies and this one here is birthday boxes or well they're boxes but you know you die cut them in any color and you can stack them up you get the bows and stuff but they, they do look really nice I did run it through and I did cut them but then because they were white and I was clearing my desk away I threw them all in the bin so but it's they're just nice and I'm sure I mean I, I don't even know how old this is it's called packages and bows so but that one's really nice that butterfly was just in with it but this one's the one I really like so this one cuts out these flowers here you can just see the shape of them and this is what I made I think it's really nice really really pretty and I've just added it to a stick there and just put some of the oh that's what else I got got these bits as well but I got two two lots of the um floral tape so this just goes around the sides here just to cover it all and make it look like a stem of a flower but isn't it cute really like that one and this is made of the flower forming foam and I am working on a tutorial so I will be sharing it I promise because I know I have said to people um that I'm going to be doing one and I am so then these were there so these are your parchment plates so these are embossing plates and um I have done a little bit of it before but not a great deal and to be honest I've done it without using any kind of like plates or anything I just do it freehand but um these were 50p each the ones that want in the packaging and the one I really like is this one here which has, um, let's get something to put against it. There we go, you can see there. 
lovely big happy birthday and then you get all these different subtitles here and um, there's basically for anybody that doesn't know but there's like little grooves in the back so you basically you sit your parchment over the top so you can see through it and you just follow the grooves with your um, your pin your parchment stylus you get different widths and uh, you get that effect and I did try this one on I wonder if I still got it actually here it is I knew I tried it can you just see again let me get that card yeah there you go so that's the so you can imagine when you carry on so it's upside down like that and you just follow the grooves sorry that way no that's the way there we go <laughs> you just follow the grooves and then you can just move like have balloons around it wherever you want but I just thought they'd be nice for the aperture windows on like shaker cards and things like that so it's just another nice different tool to use there's that one this one here creates like borders and you can do lots of little dots and there's all kinds of techniques with that one that one's another big flower that one's just some like background scenes you've got the mountains you've got like the desert there you've got the sun and the moon, waves you could use it as I guess, there's all sorts and then these two here have never been used so you've got that flower um, you can see the effects there it is, it's amazing to watch actually and my friend Tati, she's done some beautiful cards because it's a technique that's used a lot in Brazil and um, that I just thought was amazing as well but then this one here is a great big poncettia really really nice and you get a double that on the back as well so and you can obviously you can paint you know you can color your parchment or your thick vellum so um yeah it's just a nice little thing i like to play around with stuff so i got those and then i picked up these here which are they're like your fastenings for a necklace or it's like those tube ones where you can fill them with beads and stuff or a bracelet it's up to you but i'm going to incorporate them into handbags gift bags things like that and they were 50p and there's a wow well, i've probably got about two four six eight ten maybe and then I got this here £1.50 and it's a great big roll of there's tons in there absolutely loads it's beautiful organza nice and thick so I've got lots of thin ones but I haven't got a thick one so and then this one 50p bargain this is real this is a real good bargain because this stuff's not cheap um although they do have some deals at the moment on craft and uh, creating craft but this is the flares and this is the again the flower forming foam so and this is what i used well not this one but this is how you create your flowers there i mean that was just a quick you know i put that together i would distress it a lot more and shape it more and stuff but um it's lovely stuff to use if you like making flowers and stuff then you will like it but this one is the periwinkle right there in front of me so you've got like a deep purple bluey purple green although it looks a lot more blue on there maybe it's different colors have been put in there but anyway either way it's a bargain so yeah that was my little charity shop haul and i popped into hobbycraft and i saw they had these and i don't know how long they've had them in but i have the hobbycraft trolleys i've got two of them in white and now i've seen that they have these and they hang on the side and oh gosh i can't remember how much they were they weren't too much at all because that's why i bought three i want to say three pound each maybe two pound each i don't think it was more than that i don't think i would have paid too much more than that but they're really handy and they just hook on the little you know one of the the tiers really the, the shelves on your trolley and they're great for putting other bits and pieces in so um yes yeah, so i've got three of those and they did have it in a really nice turquoise um, and I think that's it, just the turquoise and the white was what I saw in our store, but that's not to say they've not got a lot more in others. Then I picked up some glossy accents. This one here I got for 2 99 for the larger bottle because the packaging was all battered. Um, so I grabbed it because this stuff's, again, I love to use it. You can use it as an adhesive, but I like to use it for like the eyes when I've coloured in like an image because it just gives you that glass effect. So, and it's nice to create an underwater, like that wet look. So that's what I use. Picked up a new embossing buddy. This was in the packaging, but I've already used it. It's not until you get a new one that you realise like how skinny your old one is because my other one's got hardly anything in it. So this is a nice full one and it's not stained because my other one did leave a mark on a project I'd done not too long ago. So I, it was on my list to get. And then I picked up these. So there was a pack of four Posca pens. These were £4.50, which is half price, which is really good. So you usually pay not too much more than that just for the one. So it's the size that I use. And this one you get the white, gold, silver and black, yeah. And they're paint pens and those of you that have been following me regularly will see me use it a lot. I like to do the faux stitching 
and they're just really nice so yeah I got they're, this the white is really good for adding snow as well because if you shake it enough you can kind of like flick it as well onto the paper so you can get some quite nice effects with it so I picked those up then I picked up these so I was I needed to get some a new one and I was looking on Amazon which is where I've usually purchased it before and I found the cheapest I found it was $16.99 and the most you don't want to pay any more than $19.99 and then I saw that there was a store called Emerald Crafts that was selling it for $13.99 for one bottle so I bought two I just thought that is an absolute bargain I've never seen it that cheap it's, it's a litre thousand mil and um, yeah it's brilliant so I bought two keep me going and um, yeah, bargain. So I'll share the links. I don't know how many they have in stock. I think they're obviously, well, I'll say obviously, but I think they are a small business. So, you know, they might not have huge quantities, but I will certainly share the links and you can check it out if it's something. But yeah, $13.99. So I got the two there for $27.98 and free postage. So, which was good. So yeah, I got those two. Then I popped into B&M and I do like their mirrored cardstock. It's, th oh, th yeah, I think $3.99. You get 20 sheets and it's 250 GSM, so it's great for your card bases as well. But it's really nice. I go through mirrored cardstock more than any other cardstock because I use it a lot for my mats and my layers, and it's just great. So, yeah, if you're in B&M, grab their, uh, their mirrored card because it's, it's really good quality. And, um, yeah, I've never had any problems with it. So I've got the gold and the silver. They also have, like, a holographic, but I'm not too keen on that one, but these ones I really like. Okay, and then I've got a bunch of the latest craft magazines. So many of these are still in the shops now. So this one, first of all, is Papercraft Essentials. It's issue 183. I was lucky enough to feature with the Shape Up one. This is the card here. I'll show you it in more detail. We're using the free gift. So you get this embossing folder with the bookshelves, which is really nice. I really like that one. So if you've got any friends that are like bookworms, then this is a good one to make a card for them. And then you get the stamp set and you get the little dies there, which will cut the cat and some of the books. And uh, you've got them there as well. But here I like the ones that say like this book, this book belongs to. So if you're making a mini album, that's quite a nice stamp for it. But then this one, just one more chapter. I know a few of my friends are like that. They could read all day, totally get lost in their books. But they're really nice and it was fun to colour this one as well. So that's them there. That's the magazine. Now when I get ones where I'm in them, I rip them out and I put them in another folder. So I just trim off the edges and just for my own reference, I fire them all away. But that was the spread. That was the one that I done. So I always do a beginner and then an advanced and they wanted me to do the book fold so this is one that features on my channel but I really liked doing it with the black I just thought it really does stand out and you really get to appreciate sorry I didn't see the glare there you really get to appreciate the shape of the card so if I just bring it up a bit closer there that's the kind of thing you can create with the stamps and the dies they're so cute and even that that's not pattern paper I've stamped the flowers um, just that it was the flower pot just there just to uh, to give you that kind of pattern paper look. Really, really nice, really enjoyed it. And there's the front. I used the whole of the embossing folder and put lots of little pieces in there, but I'll show you how to make it. And then that's just the basic one. So it's an easier version. And again, there's the front there. So I went a bit more simple with the white and just done pops of color with, with just some of the little stamps there. So really, really nice. And this one has a ton of inspiration using the free gift. Sometimes you don't get as much. Sometimes, you know, you get loads. And this one, they do have a ton of stuff. So lots of, I mean, you can see it's a nice thick magazine, this one. So that is Papercraft Essentials. Then Die Cutting Essentials. This one, I didn't realize that, um, I thought I was just gonna be within the magazine somewhere, but actually these are my cards on the front here. So it was really nice to see them and this was using this free gift here so this is the one that will create the waterfall card and this is how you what you can do with it so lots of inspiration again lots of um very talented crafters have oh look there's my new machine have um the, these ones here this one's by sandra she's done a really nice selection of cards using it as well and she shows you actually how to construct the die my ones are just inspiration um, I say just inspiration, I tell you how to make them, but um, in terms of actually constructing the die, then it's shown at the beginning. And here they are here. So that was this one here, using the pa uh, papers that you can download. Um, yeah, you just go to their blog. So that's that one there with the best wishes. You got this one here, because you get the st on the stamps, it's got things like it's a boy, it's a girl. So it's a really good one. So I said surprise, it's a, and then when it flicks up, it says boy. This one I just used one of the flip downs just to show you another way to kind of make it. So using the squares and stuff. And it says there open, happy birthday, and inside it says surprise. This one here says surprise, and then it's a girl. 
So it's a different setup, and that's more of a taller card that I've done. And then this one here says happy birthday, and then you've got surprise and different prints and stamps inside there. Really is nice, lovely. I know um, waterfall cards are very popular, so I did enjoy that one. So that is issue 60. And I've got this one here, which is the Joanna Sheen magazine, box magazine. What's, you know, you just get a bit more to it. And i done the calendar here, which was a really nice thing to do. It's funny because sometimes you work on these so early on in advance. This was done, you know, I think I'd done this back in October. But, um, you know, you've got to work. Yeah, you are, you're always working much more advanced when it comes to magazines. But in this one here, you get really nice die. And then you get a stamp set and an embossing folder, which is on the back there. And then you get your papers. And it was these that I used as the main fronts for the calendar. Really lovely prints. You know, lots of coordinating pages there. Look at that one there with all the yellows and stuff. So if you like your florals, you like all that kind of thing. The Joanna Sheen kits are really nice. And I'm actually working on some cards for the next kit. So I'm looking forward to um, cracking on with them soon. And that one there is issue 101 of the Craft Essentials series. But um, again, I think it's still in the stores and there are links to it online as well. So I will, yeah, I'll share any of these. And I think most of these are on Craft Stash website. So again, if you're outside of the UK with the free shipping, then again, now's a good time to buy them. And that's why I like to show the magazines because for anybody that's not in the UK, you don't really get to see it until you purchase it. Whereas a lot of these are in our shops. So we can actually stand there and kind of look at them and you know, just <laughs> in more detail really to check we really want to get it. So it's always nice, I think, to share these things. So yeah, so that's the magazines. Okay, and then lastly, I received this new kit from Craft Stash and they just sent it to me and they just said, just have a look at it, Sam. We just want you to just let us know kind of what you think about it and um, yeah, how it traveled. So I gave them some, you know, um, feedback and things like that. And then there was no obligation for me to share or anything like that, but I thought actually I really like it. And I know some of you that follow me will probably really enjoy this too. So it's another form of a kit. This one I believe is $14.99 a month and so it's from Craft Stash so those of you that have your Paper Craft Society kit it's something like that but this one is more geared towards the people the people those of you that enjoy journaling and memory keeping junk journaling all that kind of thing this is what this is kind of aimed towards so every month you will receive different product to coordinate with this and to build this so everything comes flat now it comes in a cardboard box now i actually ripped into it and stuff because like i said at that point this this isn't part i wasn't doing an unboxing so but this was wrapped around it so it was really pretty love the, the detail like the floral print throughout is just stunning but things like this you would keep and you would add it into your journal you could use that as a nice strip down one of your paper page, one of your pages and um, if you're junk journaling then I know that you know I've got a friend who's a junk journaler and she uses everything nothing goes in the bin even this is a sticker here she would do something really creative with that so and that is their idea they want you to use all the packaging that comes with this then this here is your main it's like a traveler's notebook so it comes flat and then you will just fold your score lines there okay and then you receive two of these inserts so this one says plans and this one's got dreams on it and there are four elastics in this I've put two onto each one there but I imagine you're going to get like I said over the coming months you're going to get more of these notebooks to go inside you've got pockets on both of the sides there one there and one here so again, you've got lots of things to go in there and I imagine over time there will be more introduced into that. It's called So Beautifully Organised and the lady who has designed this is Helen. Yeah, there we go. Helen Colebrook and she's on uh, YouTube. So again, if you are into this kind of thing, go check out Helen's uh, YouTube because I imagine she goes into a lot more detail about all this kind of thing. Like I said, I'm not a huge planner. I have my planner and I do decorate some of the pages occasionally but um, I just don't really have the time to sit down um, and write my thoughts and things like that it's not really something I do but I totally get it and when I have done it it is really it's very soothing it's nice and relaxing so love this I think the print is beautiful it's a really nice thick um, card there as well I'd say it's soft it's it's easy to work um, and it's just it feels nice in your hand it's great size but then traveler's notebooks are then you get this lovely pen absolutely love this I've been using it and writing with it and it's just lovely it's a little twist one 
and you've got this lovely little tassel hanging off there as well. So I've just been, for the minute, I'm popping mine just on there. You could pop it over the elastic there as well. Then you also get these two little tassels, so you can add these onto here. I did have one hanging on the side, but I took it off just so you can kind of see how all the packaging, you know, how everything looks, sorry, when you get it. But they do look cute. Like I said, once this gets, I like things when they get a bit worn, a bit dog-eared, a little bit bent. That for me is when it's nicer. This is pretty and everything, but it's a bit too perfect for me. I like things to get a bit worn. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna keep that one on my desk. Um, I go through notepads <laughs> like there's no tomorrow. Um, then you get these two sheets here. So this is a sticker sheet. So again, if you're doing a lovely entry in your journal and you've wrote some really nice thoughts about the day, then you can decorate it with all these lovely little stickers so they're very sweet and yeah everyday journaling is Helen's brand on craft stash so again I'm sure lots of you are already familiar with her and then you get this washi tape sheet so it's just a whole sheet there's no frame or anything of these washi sheets of these washi strips so you can see there they peel off really pretty again and even that one on the end is just a thin one. Yeah, so you can use everything on there. It's one big sticker. Then you also get this one here. Really pretty note card. And I'm going to use this because I've got, an, I need to send someone um, a little note. So that'll go in there. And you've got your sheet there to go inside as well. I love that. It's like the old vintage. It's almost like the security glass. But I remember we used to get that grid paper in school. So I do like that. And then you get these four little ephemera pieces. So again, I imagine it's gonna build, you're gonna get a lot more of, the, you know, more things to, to add to it, but you can decorate your pages with those. Then you get these two amazing sheets of wrapping paper. So like I said, it's a paper craft kit, so it's more around packaging, making things look nice, and it's just paper focused. Um, so I love this, and what I thought I would probably end up using this for is obviously wrapping presents, but, I think it'd look lovely wrapped around a mini album. So use this, because it's very thick. It's a really thick paper. It's a lovely big, that looks like a, I'm gonna say A3? No, it's bigger than that, isn't it? So it's A1. No, A1's even bigger. No, it is A3, I think. Anyway, it's big. And um, it's four A4 pieces. And then you get this print here, which has those lovely daisies. Really, really nice. But it's just really thick, really good quality um, paper. So if you are someone that loves packaging, making things look very pretty, then you'll enjoy this. And then you get this tissue paper as well. So I think going forward, more of the actual box is going to be wrapped in tissue paper, like the Paper Society kits. So um, you'll probably find the tissue paper actually wrapped in the product. But I always save tissue paper in these, and they want you again. The idea is that you keep everything in this, and then you use it again. So yeah, beautifully organised. It certainly is beautiful. It's really 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 pretty and if you're into that kind of thing then I think you'll enjoy this because it's quite nice I think the paper society is geared towards us card makers and um, it's doing very well people are really enjoying it it's being well received but now I think the kind of journaling and planner all that kind of thing is really growing more and more I'm seeing more youtubers and I've got lots of friends that enjoy it so I think it's nice that there's a kit um, that's got more of a focus on that. And I know there are kits out there already and some of you probably already already get those ones. Um, but I think this is really nice and I like the fact that it's something that you can add to every month. So yeah, so I think that's a really pretty kit and I think it's a great one, like I said, for all you planners, all you organised people out there. <laughs> So that's everything for this week. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. As always, all the links will be shared below. You'll see this little bad boy in pretty much every video because <laughs> it's been desperately needed. And uh, yeah, hopefully some of you can get hold of this as well. So check out the links and I'll be back again tomorrow with another tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.